it's me, Norm, again, from MyBeerQuest.com. And uh, today's beer is, uh, this has been a, uh, you know, a favorite of mine for a little while now. It's a, it's a Firestone Double Barrel Ale. If you remember a couple weeks ago, when we were, I was at the car show, um, I had the uh, another one from Firestone, their Amber Ale. Um, but this one's uh, their flagship beer. Uh, their double barrel ale, and why they call it double barrel, from what I understand, is they actually ferment it in actual, like, 60-gallon wine barrels. Um, because, uh, I don't know if you know the Firestone name, it's also a uh, winery. Not only tires. <laughs> um, but they, uh, yeah, they have a winery, and I guess the, uh, the kids... Um, the uh, son and the son-in-law, which is the Walker, uh, Firestone Walker, um, wanted to start a brewery, and they uh, started brewing beer and wine beer, so that's kind of cool. And I don't know if you remember, I don't know how many years ago it was on The Bachelor, one of the Firestone kids was uh, on The Bachelor. I guess he's uh, now at the brewery as well, from what I understand. I remember reading that about a year or so ago. Uh, this, I, I remember when they first came out. They had a different, uh, more of a classic label. I kind of like that label better myself, but this label's okay. Um, it says, the passion for the pale. Um, pale ale, so, double barrel ale. Let's try this out. Yeah, this is from Paso Robles, um, California. Really like that whole area. Very nice area. If you uh, remember seeing the movie Sideways, uh, that was right below there. So is it Paso Robles or is it? Uh, let me just make sure of that. Could be wrong about that. I'm thinking of another winery, possibly. It's five percent alcohol per volume, so that's about average. Uh, Fire San Paso Robles, yes, Paso Robles, California. It's sort of a, you know, uh, it's not too dark, not too light. It's a nice color to it. Wow. Very nice ale. It's a hoppy, not too hoppy, but, you know, it has flavor to it. Um, a really nice flavor. Uh, this is, you know, this is the kind of beer I enjoy, like, drinking, just when I'm drinking beer. Because it has a really nice hoppy, but not too hoppy flavor, um, and it's a you know it's mellow, you know, which is why I heard they do uh, when you uh, ferment things in oak, such as this, uh, it mellows it out. That's what I hear. Mm. Very good beer. So uh, yeah, if you uh, ever get a chance to uh, see it, I believe they distribute it all over the United States. I'm not sure if they distribute outside of the United States, but if you uh, if you ever see it, give it a try. It's a very good beer, a uh, very nice beer. I wish I could tell you the price. I don't remember this stuff. Uh, <laughs> so I see, uh, I think it was like seven ninety nine was what I paid for it. Um, but I've seen it as high as nine ninety nine. Beer fluctuates with me depending on where I go. You know, it's like sometimes uh, I see it for five ninety nine if I go to. Trader Joe's or someplace like that, then I'll see it for like seven ninety nine, and then if I see it in Seven Eleven, it's ten nine ninety nine. That's like my don't usually. Um, it's a six pack, by the way. That's like my don't normally uh, say the price on it because I it depends on the, where I go. That's how much it is. But until next time, I'm Norm. Enjoy your beer. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and uh, don't forget to uh, check out mybeerquest.com. Uh, I got a bunch of little extra things. If you're a, if you're a Mac user, check out all the widgets. I, I do beer widgets. Uh, let me know what you think of them. Okay, cheers.